Read it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White like wool. You understand? What people have woolly hair? Black people. Black. But you grew up in a Christian church? Yeah. And what did what they say? What, 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 what color did they say Christ was? They say they say just he's invisible. They just they just hung uh, an invisible man on the cross. That's basically what they say. So why why did they never teach you their color? Why did they never teach you the color of Christ or the Israelites? Because your history, your nationality is important, but they don't want to tie you up to this Bible because this Bible is a liberation. You understand that? Read. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. What? His feet like what? Unto fine brass. What color is brass? Furnace. So that brown penny, you gotta burn it in a furnace. What color is that? Have you burn it? Yeah. Listen for a minute. What color is that? Black. That's right. You put right. rice in the, in the oven, you say burn. That's gonna be black. Right. Right. So Christ was black, black. Right. You understand? Right. Well, why does the white man not teach us that? Why do white man not teach us our, our, our nationality? Bring it out. White man. Why would he teach us that? Get, get that in our, uh, Isaiah. Do they learn from blacks? How you only, how you gonna tell me you only learn from blacks? Sis. If you only learn from blacks or the history or the scriptures. Oh, okay. But you know those black people that you learn from, learn from white people. Who learn from the slave masters, right? Because our family, our grandparents and stuff like that, they just got it from their family members who got it from their slave masters. Yeah, so. What what um what religion right? were you growing up? Jacob had twelve sons. So one of Christian. Sons what the my down denomination? Hey, who so that's your tribe. What? Methodist? Baptist? Only Christian is that? Okay. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me. Because in the Christian church they say, I love the Lord, I love the Lord, right? Sis. You go, to, you go to Christian church? No? Oh, but yo, a lot of people in Obi do not go to church. That's I a good thing. Church. No, that's I not a good thing. It. It's not a good thing. Because in church you get brainwashed. Oh, you right? You Read that. But, you, you know about but have removed their heart far from me. So they say they love God. They love God, right? In the Christian church they say they love God, right? Right, sis? In the Christian church they say they love God, right? For what? Do they love God? Sis, do they really love God? You guess? What do you think? I don't know about other people. I don't You feel they don't like it? Love them, right? Read. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Read again from the top. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. When he says draw near me with their mouth, they honor God with their lips. So I love you. I love God. I love God. Right? You ever say, have a man say, I love you? And just treat you like ish? Is that real love? No. If a man say he love you, sis, if a man say he love you and he just come whap out right in the kisser, does he love you? No. Hell no. But he gonna talk it. He gonna talk it. Because what? Actions speak louder than words. First so John God 13. is... First John 13. Forget that, hold on. First John. This is the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God. God gives definition to all the words that he has. Because in America, through the brainwashing the American system has done to us, we don't even know simple things. We don't know how to love each other. We don't know what honor is. We don't know these things. We don't know how a woman should dress. We don't know how a man should act. We don't know the father, fatherhood role. We don't know these things. So God has it in the Bible on how we're supposed to do these things. That's right. And now, right now he's teaching us how to love. All right, read. That we keep his commandments. That we what? Keep his commandments. So keeping God's commandments, that's love. That's love, right? Read, go back, right? 
So when he says, with their lips they do honor me, meaning what? They're just talking that talk, right? B. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear toward me. So, so they moved their hearts far from him, right? So like the man, he said, I love you, I love you. But his heart, he going right messing with this chick, he messing with this chick, he got holes all up and down the block, right? So his heart is not with you, right? Because if his heart was with you, he said, nah, 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 I got a wife. I got a wife. I love my wife. I can't do nothing to hurt her. You understand? Loving to God, see, it tells no adultery. That's a not commit adultery. You understand? No whoremongering. All that stuff that's supposed to happen. So God says, listen, all the stuff that the Israelites talk, they're not about it. Right? They don't want to keep my commandments. They want to do whatever the hell they want to do. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Why? Because this man, what is this man? This man right here, the devil the Bible speaks of. This is a fake Christ. This is the false Christ that the Bible speaks of, right? And this man is going to teach us, you can be a whoremonger, you can be a hoe, you can be a crackhead, you can be a drug dealer, and God will forgive you, right? Is that good, sis? If I tell you, you should be a drug dealer, or you should be a hoe, is that, is, do you think that would be good and profitable for your life? Sorry? You were just told to do that, what do you mean? Our father told me to sell drugs. To sell drugs. To support us. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. How does that how does that brain process work? How does that happen? And now he's trying to take my kid because he is a different race than I am. What is he? He's a white. He's a white. <laughs> the devil of the Bible speaks so. of! That's it! I heard you up, up the street from my house and I had to get my daughter dressed to come down here. He just bought me a car yeah. a week ago and took it back yesterday. Uh -huh. And told me and told me that, excuse my language, he told me I effed up. Why? I don't know. He cheated on me my whole pregnancy. He told me. He threw on me seven. He told me yeah. that, excuse my language again, that I was a girl on the street to his ex girlfriend and that I knew that he was the only one to go here. This man has two other children that he cannot see and also yeah, went to jail prison for three years for domestic violence and he is trying to take my child from me and I have two other children that I have custody of as well and he is a white man. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 